Welcome guys, it is the Axeman here. We are back at Oxfile Evolved and we are looking tanned today. We've been sitting on the beach, chilling. Look at that tanned ass body we've got going on today. So we're going to be checking out uh, another mod, additional creatures. Uh, I can't remember what it's called now. The underwater, it's pretty much water creatures. Now, I hate the water in Ark because it's so aggressive and annoying. Uh, but I've always just said like there's not enough stuff in the water to make me want to go in there. Like, it's such a big place it's like a whole nother map like you've got your land stuff and then you've got underwater where it's kind of a bit boring now but we've got a mod that adds a load of random creatures and they're not really it, it, they're kind of more there just to have more variety obviously they do do stuff like um but it just adds kind of cute things like this little crab here so we've got a little, the little dancing crab so uh yeah we're gonna go through them have a look at them play around with them for a bit see what's what and stuff so uh yeah if you do enjoy it at any point don't forget to smash the up button subscribe ring the bell enable notifications all that kind of stuff yeah, so we'll start with the little crab guy just here uh it doesn't look like it does much but all of these creatures do summit so um uh, I think you can, yeah, you can have you on your shoulder as well, which is kind of crazy. It's a little like Dancing Crab, you know, you know, we all know the meme crab song thing. So this guy actually does some crazy stuff. So um, I'm just reading the info. Uh, it spawns on the beach. It's a trank tame. Uh, they're, they're common pets, blah, blah, blah. Uh, they flee when approached. Can get, can be carried on the shoulder. Sweet. Creates one silica pearl every 30 minutes. That's pretty cool. And then creates one black pearl every hour. Which is crazy. Creates one fiddler crab claw every 30 minutes. Can be stored a maximum of one. Um, the claws are equivalent to cooked lamb chops. So this is badass. This is a really cool little creature to have. Like definitely uh, grab one of them. So we've got another land-ish creature. We've got the walrus here. Uh, all the other stuff is in the in the actual water. But you can go on land and water. Uh, you look pretty badass. Obviously we can ride you. And then you kind of slow on land. But then we're going to go down into the water and see how fast and amazing you... Oh, God, yeah, you just like... Wow. You go like a hold of a speed. Jesus. Right, left click. Got a bite. Right click. Nothing. C. Oh, C makes us go down. Damn. We are... We are crazy fast. I'm not going to lie. Kind of look pretty cool as well. His little... His, well, his little... His big tusks. Look at that massive, huge tusks. So this one does have oxygen right am i seeing oxygen there somewhere i mean it's going down very slowly but he does need to come up for some air every now and then it's pretty cool so let's see what uh, abilities he has so he will spawn around the polar coasts uh it's a passive tame it likes fish so if you're going to take one of these you need to give it some uh some fish so when it's mounted, it gives an inst installation uh, buff that's cool so it'll keep us warm and stuff like that uh yeah it has oxygen um, so it's left uh, click attack can actually gather clams to collect silica pearl. Oh, that's interesting. So this is going to be like the angler. So you can find some silica pearls and get some from there. Uh, a right click is the wolf's bellow. It's mainly cosmetic ability. It can only be used on land and while not moving. Oh, we need to do a bellow. We need to do that. Get on land. Oh, there's a seagull. That's a bellow. <laughs> That was the worst bellow ever. You didn't even bellow. Do it again. <laughs> that was kind of just a mode. Jeez. Okay, well, you're going to be using these to get silica pearls, it looks like, then. That's pretty badass. I'm not going to lie. All right, next, let's go look at the... An I can't even say that. This guy. This is what we're going to look at. I think we can ride you. Oh, whoa. Oh, so it's attacking. Oh, my God. Whatever it is, kill it. Okay. We should all be good now. We should have everything sorted. Right, so we're going to have a look at this guy. This reminds me of a Pokemon. I'm pretty sure there's a Pokemon that looks just like this. So, it's got some pretty badass colors here. I'm not going to lie. Um, so, it looks like mm, kind of bog standard uh, st stats and stuff. So, we've got left click. There's a bite. Right click. Oh. Oh, right click did a thing. C. X. No, okay. Let's have a look at what this says then. So, this just spawns in the ocean. So, it has a... Reduced weight of black pearls and silica pearls immensely. Wow, so it's going to be able to carry loads of that stuff around. Uh, it's neutral unless attacked. It's immune to jellyfish, which is really good. Uh, very high harvesting boost of both black pearls and silica pearls, especially black pearls. So we need to get some of that. Left click is arm slash gathers pearls. Mediocre damage can be used in quick succession. And the right click, so what was this? The, this. 
That is a Mantis Shrimp Punch. High damage, but has a cooldown. Same type damage as a Rock Elemental, but the ability to gather certain valuable resources. Oh, shit. I want to do a, a big Mantis Shrimp Punch thing. Come here, you. Let's see how much damage we do. Wow, 708 damage. That's actually kind of insane. <laughs> That's mad. I want to get this fish here. So we do 164 normally. Right, can we... It says we can gather some resources. Can we get oil at all? Let's see. Oh, we... Holy shit, we can. Wow. Okay, this guy is going to be badass. When we add him to the servers and stuff, we're going to need one of them. Sweet. And he looks really cool as well. I like that. All right, next we've got the uh, the big-ass fish that looks kind of like uh, the Dunkleosaurus head and stuff, but it's kind of got a long... Fishy butter. Uh, yeah, there's the name. I'm not going to even try and pronounce that. Uh, Stat-wise, it's got a lot of health. That is a lot of health and a lot of weight. All right, let's get on you. So you're pretty... F you're an okay speed. Nothing special at all. Uh, left click. Bite. Very slow bite. Right click. C. X. Nothing. Okay, let's see uh, what it tells us about this guy. So it spawns in the ocean, of course. Passive tame, one wrong move and you're done for. We'll eat an entire stack of food as opposed to just one at a time per feeding. What? <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, has an extremely high corpse detection range. Interesting. So if it sees a dead creature, it's going to just come and eat it from miles away? That's kind of creepy and scary, I'm not going to lie. Uh, left click is a shredding bite. It penetrates arm and causes bleeding. While most piercing damage types only shred through 50%, this one goes through 80%. It's also uh, generally capable of destroying armor almost instantly. So, PvP-wise then, that's going to be good. If you're ever in the war and you have one of these, damn. <laughs> uh, so it looks like they're going to be kind of more passive unless you've killed a creature and then it's going to come out of nowhere and try and eat your face. God, look at that mouth. Can I get inside of you? All right, next we'll do the orca, the killer whale figgy -ma Um Stats kind of pretty decent. Um, let's just have a little swim around you, because this is kind of the one I wanted to look at the most. Left click. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> it just like... No, no. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> right click. Oh. oh, my God, it makes a noise. C, X, no, R. Oh no, I just chucked the crab! No! Crab! <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, that's alright. You'll, you'll be fine. Hey, has he got a bum hole? I think we've got a little bum hole there. Alright, so let's have a look at the uh, the notes on this one. So it says, um, as adults are untamable, the youngsters can be befriended by offering food. So passive tame youngsters, you can't tame the adults. Riding provides an installation buff, so we keep warm. Pretty sweet. Uh, immune to jellyfish and eels that's gonna be actually kind of amazing uh has a gang bonus left click by does decent damage that's what it says <laughs> uh, right click is a tail fling do this on the surface with a friend standing on your tail to fling them skyward a little bit what i need to try that with someone so if you're on the surface and they go on your tail you can fling them oh can i not Oh, stop making noises. So that attack where I just nom them does decent damage, apparently. Let's let's try that. Can I do decent... Oh, that's an alpha shark. Can I do decent damage on this fish? 247? I mean, I suppose it is decent. <laughs> it's a it's an okay amount. So yeah, it looks like you can only tame these as babies, which I don't know if they're going to be dangerous, like if you go towards a group of them or something. All right, here's another cool looking one, the Titan Sailfish. So, quick look at the stats, 2,000, okay, nothing too special. But this guy is fast as hell, look how quick we're going. Like, so fast, Jesus. Oh, God, I can't even remember how we got back to, okay, we live up here. So, right, let's see, left attack is a bite, right? Nothing, see, nothing, okay, so this, so this looks like it's going to be for just speed or something. So, uh, spawns in the ocean, it's tameable via trank taming, extremely skittish, flees when approached, eats fish, Extremely fast, cannot uh, have speed leveled. Yeah, kind of makes sense. Um, it's left click, sword swing. Low damage, but high DPS hits twice. Pierces armor like a manta. All right, so... Oh, God. I brought the sharks over here. Uh-oh. Guys? No, no, don't fight them! So... Okay. 
I'm, oh, wow. I mean, that's decent damage. I'm not going to lie. Right, so, yeah, this one's pretty much just a speed machine. I love how we ride, like, literally sitting on its head. <laughs> that's amazing. Right, next, we've got the giant octopus. I mean, this guy looks crazy. We're sitting again on his head. Um, right, so we've got left click. It's kind of like the squid. Right click. Nope. See? Okay, so it's just got a left click. Let's see what it says about you. So, uh, it spawns in the ocean. Obviously, tameable, trank, or passive. That's that's kind of cool. Can be ridden. Built to be able to squeeze through very tight spaces despite its size. Hmm. I wonder what that actually means then. So could you get through stuff that... Maybe its hitbox is just tiny or something. That's kind of crazy. Uh, left click by decent base damage but hits three times. Wow. Great for killing trilobites and harvesting them. On server this attack hitbox glitches out switching the hitbox from in front of you to just behind you or under you. Okay. So it looks like there's a little bit of an issue with it. Oh god. Look at it swimming though. That's Ugh, that's creepy. I do. Octopus is weird. <laughs> I want to see, like, so it can get through small spaces. I wonder if that means, like, if there's a base, like, you could fit through door gaps or something. Alright, so let's have a look at some of these smaller fish we've got then. I think we've looked at all the rideable ones. So we've got uh, this little guy. Well, I say little. They're kind of kind of big. That's like half the size of me. Uh, so this guy spawns in the river. Uh, it's literally just for food. I don't even know if you can tame it. Yeah, so it's just for food. Tamed other than food. Yeah, so he's just for food. You've got a, a pike. This freaking ass long pike here. Ugh, can we get around to actually seeing it? Got this guy here. So, uh, holds no purpose. You literally just have it to kill and get some food. And the same with the little perch guy here, who looks kind of derpy as anything. Literally just tamed for food. But then, we have this giant vampire squid, which looks amazing and terrifying at the same time it looks like an alien in the water and i really really like it so um this actually has a really cool feature so um it's a passive tame when tamed the giant vampire squid gives off an aoe buff that increases the experience for allied creatures in its vicinity think of it as a permanent active life stroke 24 7 with larger radius so it gives everyone xp boost a, a bigger surf a uh, bigger radius and stuff i don't know if you can see the radius and it's just always on so i don't have to you know keep petting my lystro that's crazy and it's really cool what are you like your stats like uh, wow it actually got a lot of health <laughs> considering like these other creatures that's kind of crazy it is really cool looking all right last one we're going to look at then the great hammerhead shark it's <laughs> got the derpiest eyes in the world <laughs> oh my god they're like kind of crazy looking right so we can ride you Oh man, I love a freaking hammerhead. So we've got left click. Yep, right click. Another bite. C. Another bite. X. Nope. Okay, so we've got like three attacks like that. They all just seem to be bites. Can we uh, bite his fish to see how much damage we do? Holy shit! No way! What? That can't be right. Can we, like, an actual creature? Okay, there we go. That's a little better. Right click. Does that. Alright, so it looks like we've already got them. Them ones just there. I mean, this this is kind of cool. So let's see. This has got like a big uh, list on it. So it spawns in the ocean. Um, it's a it's a passive tame. Likes fish and looks at level twenty five. Interesting. Will be will be drawn in from a considerable distance if there's a dead body in the fish. Okay. Can get a gang bonus from being in a school that maxes out plus twelve. Um, most ocean creatures will leave the tamed great hammerhead alone unless you attack first. That's pretty neat to know. Uh, left click is the hammerhead's fish killer bite. This usually one shots fish and harvests organic polymer. We didn't get no organic polymer though. Uh, right click is the trilobite bite. <laughs> the trilo trilo killer bite. There we go. Uh, profound damage on trilobites increase the yield for their corpses. Sees the hammerhead's pearl crusher. Same type of damage. So, so you've got left click to kill fish, right click to kill trilobites, C to get your pearls from silica things, and the X key to toggle EMF detection, left control to disable it. What? X key to toggle. Is it toggled? I don't think that works. Okay, so apparently X are meant to be able to toggle some of right, I'm just going to say that bit doesn't work for now. But this is going to have great uses. So you can get your silica pearls, you can get your crazy stuff from trilobites, uh, obviously, if you need some fish, just go ahead and get some fish real quick. I like this guy. I like him a lot, even though he's got derpy eyes. Out of all of them, though, because that's all of them that are in the mod. Out of all of them, hmm, who's my favourite? I kind of like... Where's the, um... 
Oh, that guy, the uh, the Pokemon looking thing. I don't know if we're going to be stuck in. Can you move, Mr. Whale person? Yes, this. I like this guy. I don't know why. I think it's this movement and stuff, and you seem to be able to get quite a lot. And that attack there, that, that's going to be crazy. So, there we go. Uh, I'll leave a link for the, the mod as well, for the Steam page for the mod, if you want to try it out and add it to your servers and stuff. Probably going to be adding this onto one of ours, just because it yeah, adds some more water creatures, which is pretty nice, pretty neat. So, uh, yeah, if you did enjoy it at any point, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, enable notifications, uh, and don't forget to let me know what creature you thought was the best. And anyway, thanks for watching, I'll catch you in a bit.